Hello, hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have new videos and very mm -hmm. good steps. In this one, we are going to be taking a look at the lead and follow, of course, while we are doing hitos, the different ways to do it with pivot or without pivot, also known as milonguero hito. One of you were asking for this to show the differences between mm -hmm. Uh, going in Molinete, going to a cross or just keep walking forward. So we are doing this and this is from the lead point of view. So I will show you also how to feel that lead and how to translate that to your legs. Also, we are going to be taking a look at the point of connection so we make the work much more comfortable. Before we start with the video, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell for notification. And if you like, please put a big thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. Okay, let's go. Yes. <laughs> All right, now here on the dance floor, we are going to show you first the milonguero hero, which is in close embrace and it doesn't have a lot of pivot. So let us show you that very, yes. very quick. So we are going to do this. One, pa pam, pa da pa pam, pam. Ocho just to exit and walk, pa da pa pam, pam. So we are exiting with the front ocho. This is only one way to do it. There, is, there are many, many, many ways to do this. Yeah, what I'm doing here is keep the legs a little more straight. So I'm mm -hmm. lifting my body and trying to grow taller if I can. Mm -hmm. And that will create shorter steps. And I'm pivoting a lot on ball of a foot. Um, I feel that from the leader, of course. And also I'm keeping the close embrace. So this is Milonguero, we keep the close embrace. I have to extend my body. Let me show you the position. What I do to create that, I will close embrace. I'm keeping the head in this case here on his right shoulder. When he does a step, I'm not lowering. I keep that standing position to go back side. If you notice, I'm not really making a long step. This is very short. I'm still going with my leg first. And now I'm going to be able to go to the cruzada to cross or front step will be the real option. And now we are going to do just a front step just to finish the, mm -hmm. the position. But if you notice, I'm stepping on ball of my foot. I'm not using the heel. Plus I'm extending the legs and try to keep the embrace as much as I can from my ribs all through the arms, very close to the leader. Please leaders, all followers, you are paying attention to that. Leaders pay attention also what to Miriam just said, because sometimes we leaders said, oh, it's a milonguero style, it's a close embrace and we push the follower down, pam, 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 and it's not good. She needs, in order to do shorter step, she will need to be, to elongate herself, yes? Yeah. So as soon as we lower, naturally, she will tend to do long, longer steps, which is not convenient for the style, milonguero style. So let us do this very, yeah. very quick one more time. We did a side step here, and pay attention to the close embrace that we are holding. We are going back, Side, I'm just adjusting. Cross, I'm keeping the close embrace at all times. At this moment, I'm just changing body weight to keep the parallel system. Yeah, very easy to feel for followers to do the milonguero because the embrace is really close. It's lifting, he's not lowering. And if you try by yourself to lower the position to bend your knee, you will be kind of fighting mm -hmm. with the leader, kind of getting down there. And it becomes heavier, too heavy for the yeah, leader. Yeah, and it's not natural to fight with the lead. So try to feel that natural lifting. And by yourself, if you have that from the leader, but you hear the music is milonguero style, because that comes from the time of the, the music that you are hearing, right? So don't try to go into the long steps. You have to know the difference between Adjust. all the different styles of tango. If you're dancing milonguero, salon, canchengue, you have to know the difference. And we have a lot of video for that. So mm -hmm. you have no excuse. You go back <laughs> to the playlist or you can go to our tango school, online tango school, uh, online tango training, and you see all the videos talking about this. Uh, but try to do this milonguero with this style, this hero with this style, because this is the correct way to do it. 
Keeping the Close Embrace, yes. Legs Are Extended, Short Steps, and Pivoting a Lot on Ball of Your Foot, Not Using the Heel at All. And at this moment, just one last tip in this Milonguero, we keep the same position we start. So we are not rotating the torso this way, the same for the leader, we are not rotating too much. It's almost like we have one position and we do the entire, I, I'm supposed to be pulling, but just for you to see it, we go pam, pam, pam. All the time we never change the position in the upper body. Pam. It is a, just an invitation for her from the torso, but without really twisting. That's for the Milonger style. One more thing. That was one of the comments, one of the questions mm -hmm. we got from one person writing that on our other video. Yes, yeah, I remember um, that. He is asking why, how uh, the follower knows to go to the cross or to make a front step. This is the reason. We keep in the close embrace and we keep pivoting. Sometimes the front step, let's do backside front in open, just they know back side. Sometimes the front step could be for followers, very tight like a cruzada or going again on the same position but with open. a little more space. That depends on how much the leader will pull. pull and if the step is a little larger or shorter. That's the only difference, difference. on the front step. So you will end it on pivoting and do the front step here. Looks like a cruzada, but Especially, actually, actually it's backside front or making that little space because I need to follow the leader and make a little more space on my front step. Especially she will cross if we are lifting even more. That's what I meant to say. When yeah. she lands in a tighter cross. If not, she will tend, naturally she will tend to do a little open cruzada. Yeah. So now let's do the salon style. Yes, traditional style Good. where we can pivot a little more and also we can release the embrace. We'll show you first. In this case, I'm going to use a lapis. So, one, pam, pam. Did you notice that she was pivoting much more? Main, main things, main differences is that we are able to release a little bit the embrace on our right side for the leaders. It doesn't mean that we are going to be dancing in open embrace. Sometimes that is confusing. We are going to look at the distance we have in the torso. One. Now I will release and completely release my arm. But look at the difference in the, at the distance in the torso. We are not here. In open embrace, yeah. Releasing your right arm doesn't mean it's a open distance. Yes. So just to be clear on that, yeah. we are going to release them the embrace, but we'll try to keep the close distance. One and two. I'm just doing a lapis at this moment. Leaders. We are lowering a little bit behind, so she has the, op the, the possibility to extend the leg. Don't rush her. Sit back here so she can extend the leg. And from here, we're going to lift her, if we want to close the step, of course, and resolution. Bam. Lifting her with the rib cage. Yeah, for followers, the difference is very obvious. You have to rotate, you have to pivot and make larger steps. Why I do larger steps? because I feel the leader lower in the position. That will lower my position. That will make my knees bend. When my knees are bending, I have more possibilities to do a larger step because lowering the base leg, I have more leg to go to the next one, next position that could be larger. If I'm here, it has to be short for sure, here or there, no more. If I do this, at I'm using the hips in the wrong position. So for larger steps, he will lower and that will create larger molinete around the leader. That's the lead I get to know, oh, okay, this is longer steps. Plus he's releasing my left side. Yes. So if you notice just on the first one, we are in close embrace. When he wants to do more salon and larger step for me, he will release. So I have the hips free to do a large step here. So that's the main position. I can be closer, but I can never do long step if I'm in close embrace because I will look like this, really bad position. So I will bring my shoulder with me to do back, side, front step, and re-embrace if we want, just at the end. Okay, so that's the difference between, for milonguero. the follower, the Salon and Milonguero Morinete.
and Hiro. And also for the leader. Yeah, that is correct. All right, that's it for today. If you really want to dive deeper on this kind of exercises that we are doing and different kind of heroes, make sure to check out our online program, which is called Online Tango Training. A lot of information over there. Yeah, mm -hmm. be sure to do that on our website, miriamleonardotango.com. Thank you very much for your support and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.